Hello everyone, good evening, welcome back to Dot Hack Quarantine! I spent the last, like, whew, half an hour or something, a fair chunk of time, running around doing lots of trades. So let's do a brief overview of what I've got equipped right now. Um, I have two weapons for Kite. I was rolling with Kiki and Lala, which is a level 60 weapon. It has a mix of elements, which I find to be super duper important. So a fire thing and a wood thing, and then a status thing that I don't care about. Um, and that was pretty okay, and then I got Dragon and Tiger, which is, uh... I mean, here you can see what I lose in red if I swap back to Kiki and Lala. Basically, life drain. Basically, it's a split element thing that has life drain. So, fire and lightning, pretty darn cool. Uh, it has a buff instead of a debuff, which is maybe something that is theoretically cool, but I'm probably not ever going to remember to use it. And then, uh, yeah, life drain, so a chance of just doing physical attacks and getting a little bit of HP. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, what else we got? So the Matador Hood has fall rep, so full HP recovery again. Um, this, uh, I ran into one of the NPCs that requires, uh, or, or says, you know, hey, I'll only trade with you if you bring me six sports drinks or pure waters or cooked piles or you know those little elemental things that we get in dungeons sometimes um i had exactly 12 pure waters at the end of the last video in storage because of the dungeon that we just did in the last video and i needed six for the matador hood which i am now wearing and i needed six for the belated gloves which i am now wearing so that was all 12 turned in for these, and I turned in uh, cooked vials and a couple other things to a couple of other folks I ran into. Um, we'll, we'll get to that stuff in a moment. Um, bladed gloves, pretty cool, no damage, so every now and then I have a chance of just not taking damage when I get attacked. Pretty sweet. Um, we have the Ebony Hauberk, which is uh, basically all my gear is around like level 80-ish, so like a 10 level upgrade for everything. That's kind of what I was shooting for. Um, there is some level 90 gear, but it's, it is prohibitively expensive for me to trade for. Um, things like, hey, I need 12 cooked biles and 9 pure waters, or things like that. And it's just like, nope, nope, not happening. Sorry, don't have that much stuff. I have not done grinding, I don't feel like grinding. Just not really gonna happen. But anyway, um, so 83-ish gear is kind of what we shot for. 88 for the couple of really rare pieces. Still rolling with the cat's boots because that app do is just the best thing ever. Um, so that's kind of a, a quick glance at what's going on. I traded away like a ton of spells, um, almost all of our summons, a bunch of other spells. So got rid of a lot of that stuff. Um, I have a blade master thing. Uh, I have a heavy blade thing. I'm probably gonna give this to Black Rose. It's pretty cool because it has law rep or HP recovery on it, and rig same for uh, regen over time. So that's pretty cool. The Dharma Wand is pretty sweet. Uh, level four earth spell, level three fire spell, level three thunder spell. So this is gonna go to wise man. It's just got a really nice mix of elements on it. I might actually not give it to wise man because I know we're gonna be using elk for story related things a fair bit in this chapter, in this game. So that might have to go to Elk. I gotta, I gotta hold on to one full set of equipment for Elk because we're gonna have a couple of really nasty missions where we have to bring him along. And I have neglected him for the past three games and uh, <laughs> now I have to, to deal with that. Um, I just got some extra level 80-ish gear floating around so we can start doling these out to some other folks. Um, robes, the... Hoods are pretty good. Fall rep, so full HP recovery to everybody. And then uh, Resurrection, pretty cool. Fall rep, pretty cool. Um, heavy weapon, or heavy hands, pretty good. Uh, the Master's Hands, these are probably going to go to Black Rose as well. These also have no damage. Level 89, so really high. Really high level. So, yeah, we got some good stuff. We got some good stuff. Um, what else? So, oh, 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 uh, I also ran around and talked to all of our, uh, grunty friends on the other servers and traded with them. Um, a couple of people just had random things that I could get, so I haven't used any of these. We got a Stormlore for a little bit of thunder from 
the Grunties on Lambda server and uh, Sigma server. They, they were holding on to these uh, upgrade items. So we got two Golden Grunties, which is pretty cool. We got two Silver Grunties, which is also pretty cool. I'm going to use all those now. Just wanted to keep them in my inventory to remember that I got those. The Secret Rigid, which is the name of my best move, this we actually got from Bear. Bear, the NPC, who is from Dot Hack Sign. Uh, he's one of the main characters in that anime. He's one of the ghost people that we saw in the last game. We've seen weird memories of him and stuff. He's just wandering around playing the world, just hanging out. He was holding on to this. I took it. I now have become more rigid. So there you go. That happened. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, um, this NPC right here, Spiritas, I think is going to whisk us away to where Helba and Leos and Wiseman, etc, etc, are hanging out. So we'll deal with that in a moment. I do want to visit the Books of a Thousand. We're going to just unlock, like, a crap ton of new, uh, like, uh, backgrounds and music and cutscenes and all that fun stuff for our desktop. So we'll just burn through these real quick, see where we're at. Background music is pretty cool. Movie, not that great. Haven't visited very many areas. We've visited a lot over the course of three games, but not enough to unlock anything new there. Well, let's just cut scene once, because I do kind of like it. Those books are pretty cool. Lots of portals open, so we got another movie. Movies are the thing I'm the least interested in. Just unlocking all the cutscenes again. It's the backgrounds and the music. That's what I really want. People that we've met. Over 60. That's pretty good. Over 40 trades. Yeah, I've done I've done 200 trades. So the fact that we're getting rewards for 40 and 45, that's just kind of... Kind of great. So there are still eight characters left in the game who we have not met. Yeah, this chunk of four right here. Uh, note that they're all in line with the characters that we can get in our party. Just gonna throw that out there. And then there's gonna be four more at the end here. Yeah, so um, Bear, so probably like Mimiru, Tsukasa, um, A20 is another one. So these are going to be like dot hack sign characters hanging out there. Uh, anyway, moving on. Monsters. Nothing new there. That kind of sucks. Haha, <laughs> I'm already uh, maxed out on gifts. I have gifted a lot of crap to my people. And we're going to be giving out a lot more stuff now that I have actual equipment for them. More background images. This is pretty exciting. Music. Oh, good. I want to go check that out. Going to be careful with the music because I don't want to, like, spoil anything by seeing, like, the name of the song. Like, oh, boss fight against Orca. Oh, no. And then having that spoil that we fight Orca. But he's the secret mastermind supervillain behind the whole thing. For example, Springs of Mist, this one's always lagging behind. I'm just, this is one of the hardest books to fill up. And Grunties, we haven't got the last two Grunties yet. We could do that real quick. Yeah, we'll just kind of have this be a super chill, relaxing thing. Daddy, I'm hungry. We'll, we'll hang out with the Grunties. I'm hungry. Give me something to eat. All right, I'll start by giving you a couple of these golden eggs. Just fill you up without changing your stats at all. I want you to turn into a bigger grunty. Come on. Uh. 
I don't know what the size cutoff points are. There's one. I want to eat something cold and spicy. Please. They grow by a big Buddha statue. Please. I have no idea what that is. Cold and spicy, huh? White cherries are the only cold thing I'm aware of. Let's give you a cordyceps. I want to eat something really sour. <laughs> they grow deep in a really fancy gallery. <laughs> That sounds like one of the eggs? I'm going to give you a second cordyceps. Now what do you want? I want to eat something cold. They grow by a really cold pillar. Ooh, I do know that that is the white cherry. So how about we give you another cordyceps? Face. That's probably a grunt mint. It's the only minty thing that I can think of. Uh, I'll give you some golden eggs. How about that? Let's pop you up to size 15. I want to eat snaky cactus. They grow near some ribs that were once an ocean. <laughs> I love Grunty the Kid. Father, I'm hungry. <laughs> I love Grunty the Kid. Uh, let's see. I think we have to get him up to size 40 to max out. And yes, I'm doing this intentionally, just giving him a very specific set of food. <laughs> Thank you much. I feel like a new man. Yeah, I liked him better when he was Grunty the Kid. I don't like this voice. Don't worry. Let an old man repay his debt. <laughs> Can I help you? Even a carter like me has a rare item or two. Well now, wanna trade for one? That sounds kind of disturbing. Woody Grunty, huh? It's like covered in moss. That's kind of cool. Even a codger like... <laughs> it's as if this old man were created by you. So how can I possibly refuse your request? Aunties are so weird. Even a co... You! You're the spitting image of my son. <laughs> I lied. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. So <laughs> That's like maybe my favorite. Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Okay, what do we got? Sorcery swords. Um, I looked at these. There are a lot of things that are uh, all in on one element, and I'd rather not do that. Yeah, they don't seem super great. Silver Grunty, do want Ishtar Wand. Holy crap. Earth Tornado. Level 4 Earth Tornado. Level 4 Earth Columns. And a level three Earth Summon. Darthkins. That might actually be a good one to try to get. Uh, I want that Silver Grunty, though. That is the most important. Blah. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get the Ishtar Wand. It also just sounds like a pretty cool thing. Holy crap, this is going to be really expensive to trade for, isn't it? Okay. Uh, cool, so that's one down. We have the Noble Grunty and then whatever the other cool Grunty is. We'll come deal with those later. For now, let's carry on with the little 
story quest stuff. As I pondered various issues, I've come to a conclusion that I should help you. There seems to be a strange room in Sigma, Screaming Wind Sands Fate Castle. Sigma, Screaming Wind Sands Fate Castle. You may be able to change this world. Okay, not sending us off to interact with Leos and Helba crew. Which is, I was expecting to bump into them. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, alright. Go do the thing. Ooh, wait. I don't think I've checked what you guys have to trade. Sorry, easily distracted. Nothing super duper good. Uh, I have talked to Hinata. Ijukata, yeah, I don't think I've traded with you either. Black chapter, the volcanic spear. Okay, nothing. Ooh, wait, angel chain. What, 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 what? You need a special thing for that? Level 92. Holy crap. Is there any way that I could get that? Just out of curiosity? Oh, 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 oh I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that easily. Uh, let's trade some of these. There's some space out of my inventory here. Holy crap, that's really, really good. I'm glad that I stopped to do that. <laughs> Trading, everybody. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, okay. Let's go do the thing at the place. Hello, I've talked to Alu before. Uh, who do we want? I kind of want to just grab... Um, I wonder if we can grab Elk. Probably not. Yeah. Grab wise man. Why hello there. Really just want to have a uh, wave master. Just in general. Um Let's just roll with these three. Oh. Well, these two. Me and these other two. It'll be the three of us. Uh, now then. I mostly just want to give them some better gear. Oh, snap. I forgot the wise man has all these items. Okay, I'll deal with that later. But we're really going to want those, because that's going to make for some real good trading. Okay, making sure not to give away... Like, I, I need to make sure that I keep a full set of Wavemaster armor for Elk for later. So what can we give to Wise Man now? No gloves. Um, I only have one robe. I'll give him the Raven Crest, and I'll keep the Angel Chain for Elk. Not a bad item. Yeah. Uh, now then. I can give him one of the weapons too. Yeah. I want him to have the Dharma Wand, which is a pretty good spread, or the Ishtar Wand, which is all Earth, all the time. You could have... Twenty magic attack, 18 magic attack. You can have the Ishtar Wand. This is an incredible item. Thank you. I... Yes, yes. Repay me. Yeah. Um, Black Rose, you can have the Nightingale. Wow! Which is not going to look anywhere near as cool yeah. as like the shattered, glowy laser sword that she had just a moment ago. You can have the Dark Beast. What? Yeah. You can have the. I'll give you the Master's Hands, and we'll give the Midnight Hands to Balmung, I think. Basically, the highest priority is going to be people that we need for the story mission quests. 
which is going to be um, Black Rose, Wise Man, Balmung, Pyros, Elk. Um, and I think that's it. I think everybody else is kind of an optional character. Yeah? What's up? So we're going to gear up these folks first, and then we'll give... Uh, We'll give gear to other people kind of after these main ones are, are already taken care of. That's kind of a cool looking sword that Black Rose has there. Big old wavy thing. Okay. Uh, other server. I, we're not going to have time to do much. But I would actually like to get a little bit of gameplay in here. Or we could just not. I could just call it here. You know what? I'm just going to call it here. I'm going to be lame. We're going to have a shorter video. We'll go fiddle with the desktop a little bit. See if any of those new art pieces we unlocked are cool. Accessories. So, uh... It's going to be images down by the bottom somewhere. So I have no idea where we left off. I know we've seen the Grunties. We're missing a chunk in the middle between 53 and 57, which is interesting. This one's actually really cool. The, uh, Balmung and Elk fight. Or, uh, not Elk. Kite. Balmung and Kite fight. It's pretty cool. Friends, that one's pretty cool. Brief Rest, I like that one too. Leos, don't know why we would ever want to picture him. The Past. So it's Tsukasa and Mimiru on the left, and then Kite and Black Rose on the right. That's pretty cool. Ready? This is the one that we had. 68. Um, Balmung? Eh. Not a huge fan of him. Grunty food! It's like a noble grunty, piney apple, mushrooms. Oh, grunty foods. Best characters in the game. Mia, when she was, like, drunk and kind of spazzing out something. I don't really know what was going on with her. Elk and Bear? A Phantom Wave Master. That's Tsukasa. We saw him kind of ghosting around in the last one. Twilight Moon. Uh, I believe that is also Tsukasa. Who looks a lot like Elk. Yeah, Tsukasa's decision. And then the Twilight Guardian, which is also Tsukasa. Oh, and the, like, the, the Guardian is actually above him. That's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to go back to... We're going to go back to Ready, because I like that one. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to try to find some music here. I, I'm going to like edit this part out, though, if we run into any, uh, any spoilers in the names here. Inith, Magus. On the server has pretty cool music. Kubia. Kubia has good music. Gel the Prophet. I like the boss music. I love all the music in this game. Mysterious Beast? That one's okay. I think Snowfield at Night is the one that we're going to leave on. Just forever. Thomas Rain is also pretty darn cool, though. Nope, Snowfield at night. We're gonna leave that on for a bit. Okay, uh, we're, we'll do the dungeon next time. So, thank you all for joining me. May the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.